Hello, friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel, here with a themed reading vlog that I teased you with in my last currently reading update slash like mid-month wrap-up situation. I'm making myself some lunch, which is gonna be some two eggs with some cheese, maybe three eggs. I'm hungry, I'm like starving today. But I did indeed start Slave to Sensation. I am on chapter three. Um, and I want to give some initial thoughts what I know going into this and where I'm at right now in my game plan, which it's Tuesday, um, the 15th. So I have a little bit of time to finish these books. Uh, but first things first, I only know very little about the side changeling universe. I have only read one book in this series and that was book 12, which is Heart of Obsidian, which I adore. And I'm expecting to love even more when I get to it for a reread this year. Um, but yeah, so I read that <laughs> last year and loved it because it's morality chain, which is one of my favorite tropes, but it's a hard to find trope. It's it's a very paranormal trope, I guess, and like dark romance trope, uh, where the hero is only good for, the, because of the heroine, basically. He will only be good because he wants her to be uh, safe or whatever. Um, she kind of gives him the morals he needs. Anyways, I am on chapter three now. I'm already very intrigued by the setup of this. I have owned this book since 2016 digitally, um, and I'm very curious to see what I think of it as I read more of it this year. I, um, like I said, so far, I'm intrigued. I'm excited to listen to some more. I do have a lot of editing to do today and unpacking. Um, those are empty boxes. But I'm working on getting my bedroom unpacked, so while I do that, I will be listening to this book. Um, and I'm ex I'm just very excited. Like I'm very, very, very excited um, for that. But this vlog will focus heavily on the books. I will, uh, I think I'll do chapter markers at the end of the video with each book with spoiler thoughts or like a spoilery discussion at the end. So none of this will be spoilery until I tell you spoilers are happening towards the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, so far, really intrigued. Already really like their dynamic. It's kind of my favorite where she's just kind of like, Oh no, there's something going wrong in my life. And he's like, ooh, I like you. Why do I like you? So I can't wait to see how this all unfolds. I'll update you in a bit. I'm gonna go make my eggs. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Hi. I um I'm 50% through Slave to Sensation. What just happened? Wow. Wow wow wow. I can't wait to finish this book today. I also um I can't give you like I don't want to give spoiler thoughts, but right now I feel like we are in the thick of the plot in a really good way. And I'm really excited to see where this is going and how this is gonna unfold. I really like Nicholas, not Nicholas, oh my god, Lucas and Sasha. So far I'm very engaged by the story. I think these covers don't do these books justice as far as the US covers go personally. And I think that's why it took me so long to pick them up. Um, but I'm really, really liking this one and I, I honestly, I'm so excited. Like, I'm just so excited to finish this and see where it goes. But yeah, that's my non-spoiler thoughts at 50% is, oh my god, I cannot believe this plot. So, um, I feel like the plot summary I can give you now if you're watching this, like, for the non-spoiler section is probably pretty solid. We are following Sasha, who is a psi, which means they have, like, mental a mental network and different, like, psychic abilities. And they're not really supposed to have emotions or feelings but she does and she's trying to hide it because it's like a weakness and then Lucas is a um a wolf shifter no he's a black pan he's a panther he's a panther shifter I'm sorry not a wolf um and he's an alpha and she is working with him to like infiltrate and get information for her mom who's like on the side changeling board not changeling on the side board um and they're trying the the wolf pack is trying to find a murderer um, a serial killer that they suspect is a psi, which I think ties into another book, but I'm not gonna say anything about that because spoilers, but 
that's the plot so far. I'm really, really liking it, and I'm really engaged with the story, so it's really fun. I love when I get transported into a world, and that's what this is doing, which is perfect, since I have, like, five boxes to unpack. I'm currently doing laundry and unpacking, so while I work through laundry and putting that stuff up and unpacking, I'm gonna finish this up because I only have, like, an hour and a half left, so I will be done with it this morning, and I'm very very excited i will be back to update you in a little bit when i get a little further but yeah 50 percent and i'm loving this this feels like a solid four star read so far depending on how it ends it might be a five but we'll see okay hi i'm here to close out my thoughts on the first book in the side changing series slaves of sensation i just finished it i had to sit here like for 10 15 minutes and just gather my thoughts so um non-spoilerly thoughts spoilery spoilery thoughts right now At the end of the video again um before my outro or after my outro i will have a spoiler section where i like talk full spoilers uh i really liked this book one i think it's a really strong intro to the world i do think it's a series that you have to give time uh, for the world building because it is a little confusing in the first book. I think I only kind of understood as much as I did because of how many of my friends have read this series and how much I've heard about it from them. But, but I really, really liked it. Um, I gave this a four. I liked Sasha and Lucas a lot. I'm really curious to see where the world building is going. I did not see coming who was the villain on this. I mean, I, like, I had a feeling I thought maybe and then I thought something else that I know about was maybe involved, but it was not. Um, I really was surprised by this. I really liked Sasha and Lucas's connection. This is definitely kind of a slow build a little bit. Um, they don't fully hook up until later half of the book, which is fine. Like, it makes sense. We're getting a lot of world building in this. I feel like we're getting a foundation laid for a like 15 book series until we get to the Trinity group of books. So yeah, I quite liked this. I thought this was fun. Um, Generally speaking, I think if you are interested in like a sci-fi paranormal, this is a good mix because this feels very like sci-fi at the same time it feels paranormal. Like it's a weird mix of the two genres, which I really like, um, or I guess urban fantasy-ish. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I really liked book one. I am excited to start Visions of Heat next. Uh, and see what I think of that. I know nothing. Like I said, we are just flying into all this with absolutely no background knowledge. Um, hi. I have started Visions of Heat now, and I'm really invested. I'm 25% in. Um, I started it this afternoon. I have two and a half hours left, let's say, give or take. Um, current feelings it has very similar feelings like plot wise to me as the first book not in a bad way like in a good way uh i like that we're getting to see sasha and lucas still a lot in this one i'm also enjoying how we're kind of having a a hero who very much is not a settle down type fall in love so that's always fun to me i always enjoy that so yeah, i'm enjoying that aspect a lot right now too um, I'm about to start listing some more unfold laundry probably. I just cleaned my kitchen. Bless. It needed to happen. I needed to get stuff off the counters. And I did. So that was great. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to clean my room. And not clean my room. I think I'm going to fold laundry in my room and work on that for a little while. Uh, and keep listening because honestly, I don't, don't really want to put it down. So I might finish this in a day. We'll see. But so far, spectacular. Hello, Side Change League vlog. Quick, quick update because I realized that I'm like at 65% of this book and I haven't come back. Visions of Heat so far is okay. Now, here's the deal is once I listen to you, these three, I'm gonna go back and listen to Mara's podcast, uh, the Side Change Link cast. Um, I'm gonna listen to like each episode um, after I read three, I think, for the books because. This one's okay. I feel like this one is heading that like second book slump a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I like the couple. I like Faith and Vaughn. I think that's their names. I'll correct myself down here if I'm a dumbass saying the wrong names. I like them. They're fine. But I don't love them like I liked Lucas and Sasha. And I definitely feel like we're just kind of getting world building around the council and some things in this book. And that's okay. I'm along for the ride. I've heard book three is very good and a lot of people really like it. So... We're gonna carry on. 
um, and see what I think once I get there. But for now, I am 66% through. I have a little over an hour left. I literally am on three times speed and it has three hours and 18 minutes. I will be finishing it probably tonight or tomorrow morning. But I like it. I'm just not as pulled into it as I was book one. Like book one, I couldn't put down. And then this one, I'm like, eh, this is fine. Like it's not bad, but it's fine. So that's my current thoughts. I will come give spoiler thoughts hopefully, but yeah, cause I'm not loving this one or hating it. I'm kind of right in the middle. I feel like I don't have a lot of comments. Um, plot summary is that Faith has been like isolated her whole life due to her magical abilities and like her ability to sense people. And Vaughn is a jaguar shifter, leopard shifter, whatever, one of those animals. <sighs> Somebody's gonna yell at me in the comments cause I said the wrong one and I don't really care. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's a shifter of cat type. Um, like Pokemons, he's a cat type. <laughs> um, anyways, he's a shifter and he realizes she's his mate and she's like very sheltered in the size so she doesn't like to be touched and all these things and she can predict the future and we're diving into that and she's also meeting Sasha, like that's why she meets Vaughn is she goes out to see Sasha and hear about how she disconnected from the Cynet successfully and like that was all the tension in the first book was like how can they leave the Cynet and this book is just like, it's okay, it's not bad by any means, but it's not like my fave thing I've ever read. So I'm gonna finish it though and move on to the third book and I will come give you more more thoughts later. Good morning. I finished Visions of Heat this morning. <sighs> I gave it three and a half stars. Listen, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it suffers from that second book in a paranormal series where we're just getting a lot of world building and I don't hate that, but I don't love it. I hope that makes sense. Um, it, I really liked Vaughn and Faith. I thought their relationship was cute. It was fun. I just felt like we were continuing on the plot of book one almost, and, or slash rehashing the same plot, um, which is fine. Again, it's book two in a series that is pretty big. So we're gonna have some fumbles when I read through this whole series. So yeah, I liked it, didn't love it. Uh, I'm excited for Crest by Ice since this is our first Psy pairing, I believe. Um, I briefly read the plot summary, not plot summary, the like, you know, the thing on Goodreads for it. But yeah, I, I just feel like this was a big rehash of the first book in a weird way and I didn't love it and I read some reviews and a lot of people agree with me so I don't feel like I'm off base on that. But it's a little disappointing after really loving book one and not being that pulled to book two. I'm hoping book three is really draws me in and I just like, it's all I want to do is read it over the next day and a half or so. Um, this one is a little longer, so I'm curious to see about that as well. Hello. Is it later in the same day? Yes. Um, I still have pajamas, yes. But I am 12% on chapter seven of Crest by Ice. I am buddy reading this from Steph from Novelty Corner. She said that as I read through the series, there were some she wanted to reread this year. And I was like, absolutely. And I realized when I started this one, I was like, I need to message Steph. And so yeah, we're rereading this one together. Well, she's rereading it and I'm reading it with her. Um, and doing a little buddy read and I'm really excited about it. It's been, it'll be nice to have somebody else to talk to. Obviously I have, I have a lot of friends who have read this series and I can message. But um, yeah, if anybody does want to do a reread or buddy read any of these with me, let me know. I'm happy to do that with you. Um, but yeah, so I started Crest by S and I think I said that it was my fir the first Psy Psy book. It's not, it's the first male Psy female changeling book is what I was trying to say this morning. So that's what I was trying to say this morning. I think I said it, I said it wrong. Anyways, I am 12% in, it says chapter seven and I'm really liking this one already. I really like, um, I liked the flip dynamic, obviously, of the female being the cold one in the last books, but both of those females were like, both of the females I feel like were fighting their want for emotion and feeling, which is fine, but I feel like it's a little different reading it from a male perspective now, and I think it's giving us a nice peek into that side of stuff for this one. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really liking it so far. I'm very curious to see how this relationship goes with them. Right now, this early on, there's a point at which she's like cold and he gives her his jacket and it's like, it's fine. And she's like, no, I don't want it, but like kind of grudgingly accepts it. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> I love a moment like that where they're like, no, you're cold, take this, like for real, like stop fighting me, take this. And that happened and I just really liked it, it was cute. But um, to go do some house stuff. <laughs> and I'm gonna pause the book for a little bit, I think, because I want Steph to have a chance to catch up to me, but 
I will be finishing this within like 24-ish hours, so it's not gonna be a long read because I can already tell you that this one has me hooked way more than Visions of Heat did. Okay, so I don't know how loud the construction is. I don't know what, it's pouring rain here. And yet they're still working on one of the houses behind us. Anyways, hi, hello. Um, I am 70, hold on, let me tell you how far I am. I'm 76% through Charisma. So here's my quick no spoiler thoughts so far. I kind of just blew through this book today and I am loving it. This is one that I definitely like can see myself rereading and I really love. Um, I'm definitely excited to reread it at some point and I yeah I just I love Judd and Brianna so much I don't want to say much because I feel like I'm going to spoil it but I do want to give a big content note on the plot in this book it does revolve a lot around Brianna's kidnapping which we learned about in the earlier books and followed um and her trauma around that so there's talk of torture and rape and things like that so just be aware before you go into this one but oh they're just one of my favorite couples and I have spent a lot of the last chunk of the book chanting please bang please bang in my head and I'm so glad they're finally banging so there's that uh and now I'm gonna go talk about spoiler stuff so I'll come back when I finish it and give you like my final rating I just finished Cross by Ice and here's my non-spoiler thoughts five stars maybe a six star favorite of the year this may be on my favorites of the year list <sighs> yeah I loved this book this hit all my it's okay like we have two scarred people who need each other and they like heal each other by coming together just right up straight up put it in my veins inject it immediately for me also this there we go um that overhead light is warm toned and not cool toned so i feel like it's throwing off my white balance anyways hi yeah, loved it. Possibly a six star. I gotta think on a little bit. I don't want to be like too excitedly like, you know, this is a fave, but uh, I think it might be a favorite of the year. Um, yeah, loved it. Loved, loved everything about Judd, J Jude, and uh, loved everything about Jude and Brianna. Uh, can't say enough good things about this one. Can't wait to see them show up. Let's white balance there we go all right cannot wait to see them in later books this is one that i'm already putting on my list to buy the uk cover of because i don't want to own the whole series i think but i would like to own my favorites in the uk covers so this is on that list we'll end in the kitchen where we started this vlog uh i really liked these first three books the other thing i will say is i just think this is a really great series like it's very immersive it's really unique and i appreciate that about it a lot <laughs> like I really do appreciate that about it um, and I think that it'll be interesting to see where we go from here uh, if you don't want spoilers they're gonna come after this outro here so thank you for hanging out and watching if you made it this far leave me a wolf jaguar some sort of cat wild cat emoji um, for these three and I will uh, be continuing this again next month. Like I said, every month for like the next five or so months, I'm going to read three books from this series uh, and do a little mini vlog like this. Thank you for watching and following this is all spoiler thoughts. So if you don't want spoilers, click away, click away now. Um, and thank you again so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. I'm going to tell you my spoiler thoughts on Slave to Sensation now. So if you don't want to hear those, make sure you've clicked away because it's just going to keep going after this book with spoilers here. First things first, I really liked the intimacy scenes between Lucas and Sasha because I felt like it wasn't just sex. Like, I love sex in books, don't get me wrong. Adore it. I, it's part of why I read romance, but that's not all romances. This, to me, really showed their deep connection, and I loved that. I think, like, her need for touch and finding her need for touch satisfied was really powerful, <laughs> and I really loved how it worked in this book and how they developed a closeness. I do think like it's one of the books that's like it's a little short for how much is packed in it, but it also works for that fact alone. Yeah, and I just I absolutely loved it. So I loved their intimacy. I really liked them as a relationship. I was surprised by the reveal about Enrique Enrique. Um I mean I knew he was scummy, right? Like we know that. Like that's pretty obvious from early on. 
but I didn't think he was as scummy as he was, I guess. I thought it was gonna come out that he was like doing something with her mom, not that um he was the one kidnapping people and murdering them. So that was a nice reveal also. And I'm really curious to see where book two leads us. I don't I don't feel like we were set up for book two in this one. So I'm really not sure how it connects. I mean obviously they connect. I just I don't feel like we had that set up like I'm used to um, in a lot of these series. But yeah, I'm excited to dive into it. All right, y'all. So spoiler thoughts on Visions of Heat. Um, I liked this a lot. Like I said, I think Faith's family reveals were interesting at the end there where we found out that her dad kind of has some emotions and feelings more than we suspected. Um, I think the developments around the Psy Council was really interesting in this, but overall it still wasn't enough to pull me all the way through this book and to keep me invested in this book. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, it was, it was interesting, the world building, and I liked the development we had in the plot and the world, but it still like felt like, a an unnecessary story almost. Which sounds really bad because I liked them as a couple, but it just felt like, okay, we're just here for a little more world building. And it is what it is, but it's fine. Uh, I can't wait to start the next book though. All right, I'm here with some spoilers from chapter 33-ish and before. I'm like halfway through chapter 33 right now. I had to pause. The moment in which earlier, a couple chapters ago, they almost banged, I was like dying. I'm like, please, for the love of God, I need y'all to do it. I need this tension to break because the tension build in this book has been spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is book has had the best tension build, I think, of all three so far. And I love it <laughs> so much. Uh, but yeah, so I have been loving it. I've loved the reveals about Brianna's kidnapping and how that worked. and. Uh, Judd kind of finding himself. Uh, I loved his rescue we just had in chapter 32 where he saves Brianna and her brothers um, after she was almost killed and it just was so good and like him developed realizing that his powers are different than he thought was also really really good. I'm honestly just loving it so much. <laughs> Um, which maybe is silly, but I don't think it is. I feel like it's just a super enjoyable story happening here. And I honestly, um, I'm so glad I'm reading it. But yeah, I, spoiler, they're about to bang and I am so hyped for the banging. <laughs> I don't know the last time I read a book in which I was like, holy crap, when are y'all gonna bang? Because I've just felt like this tension needs broken so badly in this series that I'm, oh, I'm so excited it's being broken now. So I'm gonna go listen to that. I'm gonna go finish this. I literally have less than an hour left and I will be back to wrap up this video and give you final thoughts. All right, final spoiler thoughts on Crest by Ice. The tension build for their first like bull bone was killing me inside. I was like screaming in my head like please bang y'all need to bang you gotta bang you gotta bang we gotta bang we gotta do this you need to do this you need to do this and then like when um the other thing that like killed me was when um judd judd jude when he sensed that brianna was in danger and like went to save her and like saved her brother and learned his powers were not what he thought slayed me inside i could barely handle that i was just like this is too much this is too much, I can't do this. Um, but I loved it, oh my gosh, I loved it so much. I, um, <laughs> yeah, it was so good. It was so, so good, I really loved this. Uh, the other thing I wanna tell you is that, yeah, I think this might be a favorite of the year, but I'm like a little, I'm always so gun shy on six starring stuff, but I think I'm gonna just go six star it. I, mm, I loved this book. Yeah, absolutely loved it. All right. Um, that is all of my spoiler thoughts. I know it's not a ton I, for the finale of this, but I do want to say if you did stay around for spoilers, if you want to talk spoilers in the comments, I'm going to do a pinned comment that says spoiler chat and we're going to bury the spoilers in there so that way anyone watching who doesn't want spoilers can avoid them. But uh, I'm excited to continue this series. I hope y'all are excited to go on this journey with me and yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions
Forget all.